for project one, motion detector, we will build this circuit, which uses nearly all the parts in this kit. Now, I'm not going to do this, but if desired, mount the base grid onto the stand with either the battery holder or the MPN transistor closest to it. But I'm going to turn on the slide switch. Now please turn down your volume because this project contains a horn. Here we go. Now, whenever the motion sensor right here detects movement, the alarm, a horn, and LED will come on. Motion detectors like these are found in many different applications. And this particular motion detector senses infrared radiation, which your body produces. Such a, it's like body heat. That's why it will react when a person walks by the detector. Infrared radiation is invisible to our eyes, but not to a sensor like this. Motion detectors like these are often used in security systems in residential and commercial buildings. So if someone was to break in, the sensors will likely detect that person and sound an alarm to notify the authorities and possibly the owners of the home or business as well, even if they are away. And also, motion detectors like these are used to control lights in buildings so that they turn off when rooms are not occupied and save energy. That's pretty neat, don't you think? Project two is silent or noisy motion detector. Using the same circuit from the preceding project, I removed the horn to begin, and now when the sensor detects motion, only the LED will come on. The device will make no noise. But alternatively, I could replace the color LED with just the horn, and then, please turn down your volume, Now, the circuit only produces noise and not light when it detects motion. Project three is low power motion detector. We're going to use this circuit and only the color LED is used. When I turn on the slide switch, the color LED will light whenever the sensor detects motion. Now, you might notice that it's dimmer than in the previous two projects. That's because the Q2 transistor is not included. This acts like an amplifier to supply adequate power to the horn and color LED or whatever is being used. In this project, the batteries, batteries would last longer because the uh, LED is using less electricity than in previous ones. Project four is very simple. Color light. This, this project shows the working of the color LED, which changes colors and flashes when power is applied to it. The color LED actually consists of three individual LEDs one of them blue, one of them green, and the third red that come on and flash in different combinations to produce secondary colors. An LED like this is much efficient than an incandescent light bulb or even a CFL bulb and therefore LEDs are being increasingly used for lighting different lighting applications. If you want to, you can place the egg cover on the LED and then you get some interesting effects. It might be easier to see the individual colors produced.
For project five, horn, we simply replace the color LED with the horn and turn on the slide switch. Volume warning. And there you have it. The horn converts electricity into sound by making mechanical vibrations which create variations in air pressure that travel across an open space. The air pressure is picked up. These changes in air pressure are perceived by your ears as sound. Project six is light and sound. We have both the color LED and the horn. And when I turn on the slide switch, volume warning please. both the color LED and horn come on. Because they are in parallel, they each have their own path of current and therefore they work at full power in this circuit. Project seven is low light and sound. In this circuit, we have the horn and the color LED, but when I turn on the slide switch, the horn and LED operate at lower power. The horn is not as loud and the color LED is not as bright. You may also notice that the horn sounds very weird. The first explanation is that they do not operate as well in this circuit because they are wired in series. They both share the same path of current and therefore there is not enough current for them both to operate at full power. The second explanation, which will tell why the horn sounds weird, is because the LED, color LED is controlling the current going through the horn, since it's connected directly to it. And that's why the horn sounds un very unusual. You could actually use this circuit as a pretty interesting alarm. Project A is super light and sound. The LED, we will turn on the slide switch and please turn down your volume. Now the horn and LED operate at full power, but you will hear, see here that the color LED is controlling the current of the horn. In this case, the, that power from the color LED is running through the Q2 transistor, which acts like an amplifier once again, and it is therefore controlling the sound through the horn. The tilt switch is only being used as a support for the this for this two snap wire, and it is not electrically connected. Project nine is motion and tilt sensor. We will demonstrate the tilt switch and we have the color LED. I'm going to turn on the slide switch and now the color LED may or may not turn on right away. It just flashes, but then it goes off. If I was to tilt the circuit, the color LED will come on if I tilt it in just the right direction at the right angle. However, if I tilt the circuit at other angles, the color LED will not come on at all. The tilt switch has a small ball mechanism inside that rolls and it detects tilt, vibration, or acceleration, or in other words, movement, any kind of internal movement. And when the ball rolls in a certain direction, it completes a circuit and allows a component or components to work. Now, for the second part of this project, I'm going to move the color switch over to the right side of the tilt switch. Now, when I tilt the circuit this way, the color LED does not come on because the ball mechanism inside the switch is not closing the circuit for the color LED, but if I tilt it this way, it does and the color LED works now. 
And then I can use the horn for this. And please turn down your volume because this is going to be loud. The horn sounds when I tilt the circuit this way. And then it sounds when I tilt the circuit this way when it is connected to the right side of the tilt switch. Project 10 is Super Motion and Tilt Sensor. I, we're going to use both the color LED and horn and they are connected to the respective sides of the tilt switch. And this is going to be loud so please turn down your volume. When I tilt the circuit towards the left, the ball mechanism inside the tilt switch will complete the circuit for the color LED to work. But when I tilt it to the right, it will cause the horn to work because of the direction in which the ball rolls. A circuit like this could be used kind of like a safe, for example. You could like me place a box containing a valuable on it and then if like someone was to pick it up, it will, either the LED will come on or the horn will sound or both. And in real life, this would not really be a good idea. It won't protect against a real life intruder, but if you're trying to keep like, let's say a sibling away from your valuables, you could possibly try this. You never know if it will work. Project 11, Motion and Tilt Light, is similar to the previous two projects, but when I turn on the slide switch, the circuit is going to be more sensitive. It'll be more difficult for it to turn off. And in this circuit, the direction in which the it is tilted does not really have an effect on the performance of the color LED. And it may not turn off even if it is placed on a level surface. But in this instance, it does. Because it's so sensitive, you could perhaps use a circuit like this as like an earthquake detector. And if you want to, you could include the horn and use it as an auditory warning system. And if you live in a place prone to earthquakes, you could very well use it to warn you. Volume warning, please because of how sensitive it is. However, somebody walking through a room might trigger enough motion or vibrations for it to go off, so you don't want any false alarms, but otherwise this might not be a bad idea. The last project, Motion Detector with Touch Alarm, uses both types of sensors and the color LED is connected to the motion detector while the horn is connected to the tilt switch. So when I turn on the slide switch, please turn down your volume. When the motion detector senses the presence of infrared radiation, the color LED will come on. And then when the tilt switch detects either an increase in incline movement or vibrations, the horn will sound. And this circuit could be a good security system because you could example place it near something that you are trying to guard like money and then if an intruder enters the area, the motion detector will hopefully trigger the color LED and then if they were to actually try and move the circuit the horn will sound and hopefully it will deter them. So it's that simple. And this could be very good to use on siblings who might be nosy or who might try to take your stuff. Don't use it for actual protection. You would need a real security system for that. But with that said, thank you very much for watching these demonstrations of the projects of Snap Circuit's motion detector. Please stay tuned for more videos like this.